Hedgehog Hello. So today I have a fun product that we're going to be playing with that I recently bought. So I saw this on scrapbook.com's website and I was intrigued and I thought well we need to play with it and see what that's all about. It's called Unicorn Effect Paste from Prima uh, in their Finnabar Art Extravagan Extravaganza range. And I was like, well, unicorn paste, we need to play with this. And if you read the directions on the packaging, it says you can use it on dark and light cardstock. So we're gonna do both. I'm also gonna run a couple of experiments with it. It looks super cool when you look at the bottom, so much sparkle. It kind of reminds me of tonic glimmer paste. So when I open up the piece here, I haven't opened this at all. I haven't played with it. It is something we're just going to explore together. So of course I'm going to open this with my craft pick. You all know that that is the one tool you need in your craft room. So I'm going to pick this open. There's also some on the lid here which we'll preserve and we'll use this for some of our experiments. So if you look at it in the top here it is different to glimmer paste. It has larger pieces like mica flakes as opposed to the glitter. We'll give it a little bit of a stir just to see if that changes things up a little bit. Um, it definitely is. There's finer particles in the bottom and we have bigger flakes at the top. So looks like you need to give it a good stir. So let's do that first of all. And it's a different consistency too. So let's give this a nice mix up. I'm going to be using my tonic silicone spatulas as always because it, I find they just give me a really nice even application. They are much lower on waste. So I'm giving this a nice mix. You can see it's a lot thicker than glimmer paste. It's not as coarse. It does have a lot of sparkle to it though. Okay, so let's give this a go. So I already have two stencils ready to play with. I already have these done in my splat box ready to play around with. So I'm going to be using the Tim Holtz Scribbles because this looks a bit like roses. I thought that would be fun. I've already applied Pixie Spray to them and I'm going to be using Crafters Workshop one. It's called Flakes. She says if she can pick it up. I'm going to use my craft pick to help me here. So I've already applied my um, Pixie Spray to it. If you want to know more about Pixie Spray, it's a light tack adhesive that's perfect. I do have a video that tells you all about why it's so amazing, why it will change your life with stencils and how to apply it. You can check out the top right hand corner if you want to check that video out. And if you're a Hedgehog Hollow Perks member, you can use the ThermaWeb money saving code um, to save yourself a ton of money on buying your Pixie Spray. And you can also stack their free shipping code on top of that as well. So uh, you can check those out again, top right hand corner or in the description. So I'm just using my silicone spatula here to spread some out and I'm going to make sure that you can see everything. So just a nice thin coat, make sure it goes through the stencil. So it's a little bit thicker than glimmer paste that you might be used to and it's got much thicker mica flakes in it too. Now the other thing it says on the packaging is you can kind of go in with your finger or with a tool or with a texture comb and you can add texture into it as well. So you don't have to make it smooth if you don't want to. I'm going to do the same on my Tim Holtz one. It does also say on the packaging that you can use it on light or dark cardstocks. So hence I decided to grab some of both so we could experiment with that like this. Exactly what we are doing here. You can see how that goes. like so. And because it's a silicone spatula it's really easy to wipe off any waste. You can also if you want to wipe off across your stencil. I'm not going to wipe too hard because I don't want to wipe off all those pretty mica flakes. Um, which if I was doing it with a normal stencil that didn't have mica flakes in it I would you know be quite generous at wiping away all my excesses. 
Um, one thing I'm going to do is uh, peel off my stencil before it gets kind of too dry because otherwise you do get some cracking and things but I want to make sure I peel this off because I don't want that to happen. I'm just going to peel this back like so and I'm going to let that dry for a second. Um, cleaning up wise uh, just warm water, dawn, you know the usual kind of things. Make sure you clean it before it dries on there. So pretty. I'll show them up close in a second as well. Now I said I wanted to run a couple of experiments because for me the closest comparison is that tonic glimmer paste. So two experiments I want to run is adding some ink onto my cardstock. So I'm just using some cracked pistachio because if you use glimmer paste you can always add it on top of any ink blending you've done, those kinds of things to create your own glitter paper. I wanna see whether that works with this. The other thing you can do with Glimmer Paste is add it to ink to create your own custom colors. And again, I want to see if you can do the same thing with this. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but then it'll give you a good comparison as to whether it is a similar product. So I'm gonna just scrape that bit that we had on the lid and I'm gonna see whether we can mix it with our cracked pistachio looks like we can to create some colored unicorn paste so I'll just spread that onto my cardstock here and I'll spread that out and we'll see how that dries and then I'm going to wipe this off actually I'll just use a different spatula and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another bit here and I'm just going to spread this out over the top of that cracked pistachio and again we'll see what effect we get when this is dry and again I can just put my excess back in there make sure you don't have any in the threads around the edges run your finger a piece of tissue or something around there otherwise you will find that your lids get put on there and you'll never get your lid back off again the other thing you can do is take something like a piece of press and seal or saran wrap put that around the top and over the uh, thread and then screw your lid back on and that will also stop it from sticking so there's another top tip for you so I'm going to take my heat it gun. It does say that you can heat it to help the drying process. So that's what we're going to do. But it is looking super pretty. Again, as I say, it's not quite glimmer paste. It is definitely a different product because it has those big mica flakes in there. If you've ever done paint pouring and you take those flakes and you know you kind of sprinkle them into your paint pour, this is definitely that kind of thing. And it has glitter in it as well. I would say it actually on the dark has more of a color than glimmer paste as well. And it's a thicker thing to work with because you can add that texture into it as well. But to give you something to compare it to, I think it's probably the closest thing we have to compare. But again, just gives you some alternatives. So we're not gonna get it totally dry in this video, but I'm gonna be able to give you some kind of hints, tips up close and some ideas of how it's going to look afterwards. So, some of those areas are dry, some of these are dry, some of this is dry. Actually it's drying really quickly. So here I'm using the Ranger Heat It Tool and the range, reason I'm using this rather than something like my Wagner Tool is that it gives a slower airflow and the reason you'd want this to dry it as opposed to something like your embossing tool is that can be a little bit too powerful. You could end up with some little crispy burnt bits um, and this is going to give you a better drying process. So if something says you can dry it with heat, I would always go with something like this as opposed to your embossing tool. They do get to the same temperature but just that lower airflow is gonna give you a better effect. So how do they look now? So this is the one on white. It's a far more subtle effect, but it has so much sparkle in it. And you really can see those big flakes that are in there. So it is really a pretty effect in there. So that's our uh, white one. On our black, you have a really, really stunning effect with those roses. So it dries kind of into a milky slash dark glitter. Again, you can see those really big mica pieces in there. Really absolutely stunning effect on there. Really impressed as to how that comes out on the black 
on that one. And then where we've done our couple of experiments. So where you've put it over the green, it is translucent. I'm not sure whether this will dry translucent where I put a little bit thicker, it's still got to dry over here. But you can see here, it has just created that glittery coating over the top. Where we added the color to it though, it has lost all of its sparkle. So with glimmer paste, you can add color to it and it still maintains its sparkle. This one seems to lose its sparkle if you add color to it. So that just kind of gives you an idea of some of the differences and similarities. So I hope you enjoyed today's review. As always, all your links will be in that video description for you go check them out. Check out all the details of our perks program as well. Not only does it help us here at Hedgehog College complete to continue making excellent, amazing videos for you. I can't get my words out today. It's obviously too late in the day. Um, but also we pack it full of value for you with money saving codes, exclusive content, behind the scenes content, early releases and all sorts of other things as well. Um, so go check that out as well. Thank you for joining me. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell and hit that join button too. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. That really does help us too. Thank you for joining me here at Hedgehog Hollow. I will see you tomorrow with a tip, trick, technique, or maybe something a little bit different. You never know. I'll see you then. Happy crafting in the meantime. Bye.